Hi, I'm Paul Hutchinson. Welcome to the 12th episode on Pistol Shield. And what we're going to discuss today is speed loads. Now, before we go into the technique of speed loading, what I want to do is look at the actual equipment. Uh, to speed load, we need our spare magazines. I'm right hand dominant. That means that I've got my, obviously, my pistol on my right hand side here with what would have been a concealed carry. What I've also got is my spare magazines to my left hand side. Now, what I want you to do is to look and see that now my hand naturally aligns to my body here. So I need to make sure that my magazines are actually pointing in the right direction. It might sound strange, but I need to know that. And what I mean by that is as I grab hold of my magazine, I grab hold of it between my uh, thumb forefinger and my Saturday night finger as it's referred to. So I, I actually put my finger along the line of the magazine. What this means is that, that, that well, there's a, a saying that says that uh, fingers find fingers. Uh, and we'll come to this in a second. So, in the firefight, I want to do the, the speed load. What I'm trying to do here is I need to make sure that I'm bringing the weapon into my body. But I'm tactically, I'm looking over at what's going on here. Okay? So, as the weapon comes into my body, I'm looking over the top, I'm bringing my fingers, fine fingers, straight in, straight back out again. Let's look at that again. But in the firefight, we want to do the speed load. Remember, bring the, the weapon closer into your body. As it comes into your body, you're twisting it slightly to that angle there. The magazine's jettisoned out. I'm grabbing hold of my spare mag, fingers fine, fingers, straight in, pick up the foresight, straight into the firefight. Now, what we might need to do is the working parts might need to be back, or might, sorry, be back. If that is the case, as we're bringing the weapon in, magazine in, all I'm doing there is, uh, Obviously, with my, my support hand, I'm straight in, drop the slide, and straight back into it there. Okay. Right. So, speed loading, tactical speed loading. It needs to be practiced. There needs to be a lot of dry practice. And I, I know I mention this every week, but there's nothing wrong with continuing to do dry practice. It's, it's one of the best things you do. The quicker that you get with these skills, uh, the more that you do with them, the more repetition that you do with them, the better you become at them. Just make sure that you're covering all of those salient points, bringing the magazine, sorry, bringing the weapon directly in, not too close into your body, looking at the contact, fingers, fine fingers, you'll find that, what that, that trick works a treat. Your speed loads will come on nicely. I'm Paul Hutchinson, thanks for watching and see you next week.